Are you feeling tired and hopeless about the constant fights, arguments and tensions between you and your loved one? Have you tried being patient, understanding, compliant, sacrificial and still nothing works? Those sparks still happen, those pull and push games keep being played. Are you really at the end of your tether? Then here's a tip for you. What might be happening is not so much that you're having fights and arguments, but that you're having difficulties establishing boundaries for yourselves as individuals and for you as a couple. And therefore, you're always navigating in ways that are difficult, that are bumpy, that are rocky, that are making you feel all sorts of things other than calm, settled, secure, and content. So there is a big difference between setting boundaries and being mean and cruel. Setting a boundary actually gives yourself and your loved one an exact image of where they are with you, what's acceptable, what isn't, what time things work, what time things don't work. It actually is very calming because when you know what's going to happen and when it's going to happen, you don't have to keep poking and prodding and creating tension and arguments just to get a reaction. But make it a positive boundary. Make it in a way where if you respect each other's boundaries, say, please don't disturb me between 6 and 9 p.m. because I'm really going to be on a conference call or I'm going to be taking care of my child or I'm going to be doing some work in the yard, whatever it might be. And then afterwards, we get to do, watch a movie together, eat dinner, go for a walk, um, do some craft work together, anything that you enjoy. So make the limit contingent on something you can enjoy afterwards. So nobody feels that you're being mean and cruel, that you're depriving anyone, that you're taking away anything from anyone. You're giving the good stuff where there was none before. This is a way in which you get to have some calm, some, some stability, some actually positive connections instead of always having to pull and push and create breathing spaces that never feel good. So get your boundary, make a contingent positive action at the end and enjoy the peace that it brings you the tolerance that it brings you and most of all you get to look forward to being with each other in a warm loving exciting affectionate meaningful way